रिफ्रैक्शन आई थिंक दिस टॉपिक नेम इज आई थिंक फाइव पॉइंट थ्री ओके फर्स्ट वीक डिस्कस अबाउट दट फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन नेक्स्ट आफ्टर वर्ड्स वी डिस्कस अबाउट द रिफ्लेक्शन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रिफ्रैक्शन refraction is very very important topic in nowadays so if refraction wants to takes place means what all things we need okay till now we discuss about only mirrors we discussed okay now we are going to discuss about the lenses if refraction wants to takes place definitely we need a mirror so that's why we are saying that is the refraction okay we are not discussing here reflection what we are discussing here refraction okay refraction wants to takes place means we need lenses what we need lenses lenses lens we need lens we need okay first we'll see what is the lens in or you might have seen many new applications lens lenses or lens okay the lens in one sense what we can say the lens should be definitely two surfaces should be there how many surfaces mean two surfaces should be there the two surfaces should have transparent space okay the two surfaces divided in two mediums the first medium and the second medium so that we can denote this like this and like this we can denote or we can denote it n1 and n2 also medium 1 medium 2 another one is sometime we can denote mu1 and mu2 also that we will discuss in future classes okay what is the lens is lens is a transparent material that is divided into two surfaces lens is a transparent material that is divided into two surfaces so if refraction wants to takes place means what we need we need a lens okay before the before go before going to discuss lens we'll see what is the refraction first we'll come we will understand what is the refraction then we'll go where it is happening this phenomena in real life now we'll discuss refraction so what i said if refraction want to takes place how many mediums we need definitely two mediums we need so if both are in transparent means or both are in affect you in the both are in affect you means uh, can the reflection uh, refraction takes place there is no chance to takes place in the refraction so one side is rarer uh, than i what i said here i said here first medium second medium so in the, when you comes to the um, physical sense we can, what we can say first medium we can say that one sense one sometime we can say rarer medium sometime we can say that is the denser medium also like that we can call so refraction how the refraction takes place in the diagram we'll see okay before going to start i will tell a little bit about that reflection afterwards i will tell the refraction already said again i'm just uh, okay what is this incident ray then is going like this reflection ray incident ray this is reflection ray this is the normal line see is it refraction no there is no chance to take place here refraction why because this surface is coated under side due to that there is there is no chance to go ray another side this is one medium this is another medium this is no smooth surface this is already coated there is no chance that's why here there is no chance to reflection so that's why we are not coating okay now i am going to take the smooth surface that is not coated or that is open one or else sometime we can consider the slab also slab slab means uh, it is uh, it's maybe rectangular shape uh, glass one sense we can say like this may be there this is one slab in your textbook this diagram is very clearly it is there okay now i taken here smooth surface this is not coated okay suppose if you want to get the image what you need definitely you need the object from the object what you have to take you have to take the rays so that is incident ray after striking on the surface some rays what happened definitely some rays are going back some rays definitely 
pass through it. This is after striking on the star surface. Some rays are going like this. Okay, some part of the light, what happened? Definite it is passing through the surface. Now I am going to draw. This line, already I said, what is the name of this line? Normal line. This ray we are calling incident ray. This line we are calling normal line. This ray after striking on the surface then it is passing into another medium. This ray we are calling refracted ray. Refracted ray. This ray incident ray. This ray reflection ray. Okay, we are not discussing here reflection ray, only we are discussing here refraction. So, this is refracted ray or reflection ray. So, here how many mediums are there? I said previously, uh, two mediums are there. This is the first medium, this is the second medium. Okay, first medium, N, one, second one, N2. Or else, we can denote like this also. Okay, the above one is first medium the below one is second medium or else we can take the mu1 and mu2 also then we can take any two any letters medium 1 and medium 2 So now I am going to define the refraction. Okay, refraction wants to take place. Mean if refraction should happen, means how many surfaces? How many surfaces should be there? Definitely two surfaces we need. Okay, light is coming from one place to another place, or light is if light wants to travel from one place to another place. See, simply what happens? Light is coming from the source. It is striking on the one surface. Some part is going back. Some part is traveling to another medium. Listen, all of you, see refraction definition, light is traveling from one medium to another medium. It is slightly bent and it is traveling to the another medium. This phenomena, what you are calling refraction, simply slightly bending and it is traveling to another medium. Then we can say that is the refraction. So this angle we are calling the refraction angle, this angle we are calling the incident angle. So this is depend upon and from this we can derive the Snell's law. Snell's law means uh, this law is given by the uh, scientist name is the in, in the name only it is that Snell's. Snell's. Or we generally we are calling the Snell law or Snell's law. So what is the Snell law? So here how many mediums are there? Two mediums are there. N1 medium. Next to this, down which side medium is there? N2 medium is there. Okay. Above which ray is coming? Incident ray is coming. Next. Oh. So here consider that in the trigonometry generally we are having six ratios. Among that we each choose an one ratio. What is the first one ratio? Sine ratio. Here also sine ratio. Then what I what I can say here? Okay. This we are calling the Snell's law. Okay, or else we can denote some sometime n to sine i by sine r is equal to some also we can.
from this formula also we can we can say that what is that the ratio the uh, the sign ratio of incident ray the ratio difference between incident ray the sign incident and sign refraction that is equal to constant okay so the ratio the ratio of sine incident ray and sine refraction ray that is equal constant that we are calling the reflect snell's law 